Hello, I'm Lebohang Makutu and welcome to Joburg Today. Running for 10 years, the Joburg Sex Bow opens up to the public and we speak to Avril Swarfield for more information about its history and what you can expect. Avril, thank you for coming to the show. It's a pleasure and thank you for having me. Now let's talk about the historical history of the Sex Bow, you know, from where it began to where it is today. Um, Sex Bay is actually a franchise um, the originators or the owners of the show are from Australia and it's under new management so um, this year 2016 is the start of the next five years for the new owner, Mr. Sean Newman. Sex Bay is actually a health, sexuality and lifestyle show. Uh -huh. So those are the three aspects of the show. Why has there been such an the emergence of uh, a different way of thinking from conservative to a more liberal approach. Growing. Everything evolves, it has to, right? So I think many years ago, I don't know about you, but when I went to school, <laughs> sex was a no-no discussion in the home, right? Yeah. Um, and as the years have evolved, people are becoming more educated. They obviously need to enhance their relationships. Um, so they go and look for ways to help and to grow and all that sort of thing. We certainly noticed that when I started the first expo in 2011, um, the people that would come to the show's ages were between, I'd say, 25 and about 35. And as the years progressed, the ages started expanding on both sides of the borders. Mm -hmm. They would walk past one of the exhibitors and have a look at all these things jumping up and down and walk on the other side because they were too scared to ask, they were too scared to touch and they didn't know much themselves so they didn't want to appear stupid. But as time has gone, I mean bearing in mind it's now 2016, <clears throat> we noticed as time went by that the people actually started touching asking questions and of course the movie that came out, Shades of Grey, certainly helped everybody <laughs> to open up their imaginations to excitement in their lives and good relationships. Now compared to other global events of this kind, I mean what's been the uptake in uh, South Africa? Well you know what, um, Australia obviously had a vision because they've been doing it for much longer than we have and knew that it would be very successful here. There are other huge big shows as well, especially in America like the AVN etc etc etc. But we are becoming more and more noticed. <clears throat> I think Africa is always on the back burner of everything, but they don't realize the growth that we've always had. And certainly this year, um, the managing director, Mr. Sean Newman, uh, went overseas to the shows to go and ask these people, like, really, have you ever been to the South African Sex Bar? And they have been here as exhibitors, but under another organization. In other words, they sell product to people that we have in South Africa. So their products are being represented, but they're not representing themselves. And we want to turn it around. We want them to start representing themselves at our show. When you go to Sex Bar, it's not an hour thing. A lot of exhibitions, um, and I'm not even going to name any of them, but the normal ones, um, people go to the exhibition and they just go and walk around, they talk to some of the places that they probably need product from and so on and so forth. Um, but that's about it. You can spend two or three hours at an exhibition and then you f you're done, you're finished for the day. Um, whereas at Sexpo, um, it's a day out. It's an absolute day out because we have workshops where they do talks on different kinds of sexual aspects. Um, we also have the stage shows and that happens from the time the show opens in the morning till the show closes in the evening. And our show has got the longest hours, the longest days and the longest hours. And trust me, we fill every single hour with entertainment. Check us out on our social media platforms. On Twitter, it's at Joburg Today. And Facebook, it's joburgtoday.tv. With Gay Pride on this weekend, our man about town, Leroy, takes a walk on the wild side as he tests his masculinity and performance skills in drag. Check this out. As part and parcel of doing this story, I was challenged to undergo the process of dragging. And since I'm always seeking to push myself and understand my environment better, I thought, why not? In Europe, it's old hat. Everybody loves going to Paris and going to a beautiful restaurant uh, and seeing a drag show. For them, it's art. 
entertainment and art. That's it. That's all it is. There's no psychology behind it. Look, it's difficult. You can't expect a man just to put on. He has to want to do it. He has to, oh, unless he's a, he's a playful guy, he's a prankster or whatever, you know, then he can dress. Clearly I underestimated the time and effort that goes into such a production. And thank goodness for Tony who took me under his wings and showed me the ropes. Look, when you do a number, you, <clears throat> you start by, by picking a number because you like it, or it's got a message or, or something, or it's, you think it's going to be entertaining to the people. And then you start thinking, okay, what costume am I going to do for this thing? And you can't do it in a day. It takes two, three weeks, a month, two months, three months maybe. Wow. Because you can't find everything in one place in one day and it's all it's a creative process you know it starts slowly slowly until you get everything ready until your miming is right the miming is very difficult because you have to know the words exactly like the artist does with every breath with everything that she does you know say that this was quite an experience for me and while this may not be everyone's cup of tea I did get to perform and have fun getting in touch with my feminine side at the end of the day I still remain the same old guy that everybody's come to love and know Leroy Man About Town Hello, this is my name is Matt Moore, and you're watching <laughs> Joe Berg Today. Well, that's it for today's show, but for more, do check out our playlist. From myself, Lebogang Makutu, and the Joe Berg Today team, adios.